Let's experiment with color diffusion. Gather these items, a spray bottle filled with water, a coffee filter or two, washable markers, a tray or bin to keep the workspace clean, and an optional thick piece of white paper. To begin, place your coffee filter on your tray or bin and begin coloring with washable markers. It's important to have something underneath the coffee filter because the color will bleed through. Draw a design on the coffee filter. You may want to make it some sort of a pattern. So start in the middle and then repeat different lines and shapes around the center as you go out. This is called a radial design. You don't have to do that, but it's just an option. Don't let the colors touch. You wanna to keep each color ink separate, but you also wanna make sure that you color some lines thick so that plenty of ink is on the coffee filter. I'm gonna speed the video up so you can see how I fill my coffee filter with a radial design. You may notice that I am only using primary colors in this design, but feel free to use any colors you would like. Black is especially interesting because when it diffuses, you can see the many colors that create that ink. So you might want to add some black on yours. Now that my design is complete, I'm ready to, for the diffusion part. If you choose to use a white piece of paper, go ahead and place that under your coffee filter. Then grab your spray bottle full of water and give your design a few squirts. Because of the material of the coffee filter, you will immediately start to see the colors of the ink bleed or spread on the coffee filter. You may need to kind of stretch out the coffee filter to make it flat again. Otherwise, the water might pool up. Give it a few more squirts in the places that are still dry so that the ink has a chance to spread. When the colors of the ink spread on the coffee filter, this is actually happening because of the process of diffusion. Water travels through the coffee filter material and brings the ink along with it, therefore mixing and combining the different colors of ink. Or in some cases, like the black marker, spreading out the colors that create the black ink. You can see here that some greens and purples and even oranges came out of the black marker. The final step in this project is just to let it dry. Then you can be creative and use the cool designs for whatever you like.